hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important concept in dataverse which is normally ignored by developers that is called as a reparent cascading behavior or reparent relationship behavior in one is to one relationship when we create one to many relationship in two tables within two tables in dataverse there is a option provided to choose a behavior there are three types of behavior one is uh, parental another is referential and third one is custom using the custom behavior you can choose granular level of uh, you know action behaviors uh, related to parent and child records now we will not discuss uh, details about the relationship behavior in this video but we will focus an important and very much ignored uh, relationship behavior for custom behavior called as reparent what does it what does it mean what is reparent normally reparent means whenever you change a lookup value in the child entity record to change the parent entity record for example i have two entity here this is one entity called as contact and this is another entity called as loan this is parent entity represents as one and this is child entity which represents n so there is one is to n or one to many relationship now when there is a one is to n relationship or one to many there is a customer lookup contact lookup which is associated with this parent entity record right so reparent means whenever you change this customer lookup in child entity form then what will be the relationship behavior or custom reparent behavior that is representing as reparent action so the point here is when someone changes a lookup to to change one value to another another value because you are changing the parent record association in this lookup right so when you are changing a lookup field that represents reparenting right this is one concept next concept is how reparent behavior actually works let's say this is my contact record whose name is greg jamie and owner is fnu there is a owner for each record right so contact has owner fnu lnu this is the owner and this owner is for this customer greg jamie there is another customer whose name is ajay kumar where the owner is another user, another owner sudhir ranjan right so for this contact i have owner sudhir ranjan and for the first contact i have fnu lnu this is another owner right and both uh, both uh, a contact or both owner do not have access to loan record okay they do not have access to loan record now let's say you have created a loan someone else created a loan record and selected the customer greg jamie now it's because so when the greg jamie is selected as a customer in the loan at the time of relationship build up between contact and loan if you have select reparent cascade all that means whenever a parent entity record is selected in a uh, lookup of child entity record then the owner of the parent record can access this child record any child record that is associated with the same customer the owner of this customer can have access to all loan records another scenario let's say you have created greg jamie loan, loan record with greg jamie but later on you changed this customer to ajay kumar now now what what it will mean it means that when you change the lookup value to ajay kumar with reparent cascade all behavior for this one is to one relationship now sudhir ranjan being the owner of ajay kumar contact record can access all the loan records where customer is associated with ajay kumar right now if you use cascade active only only the active loan records where customer uh, ajay kumar is associated that records can be uh, accessed by the sudhir kumar sudhir ranjan because he is the owner of this customer record ajay kumar if it is cascade user owned means any loan record which is associated with the parent record ajay kumar 
and the owner is same Sudhir Ranjan, then only that loan records will be accessible because it will cascade the impact of user owned. Cascade non means although you are changing the customer uh, look up here being the owner he cannot access the child records because it is cascade non right now this is the scenario i have uh, implemented although they have no uh, child record access because of three parenting uh, cascade all behavior uh, the owners of the parent record can access the child records okay so ultimately the reparenting concept gives a sharing capability uh, to the parent record owners that's what we call it as reparent i hope you understand how it works thanks everyone bye